Hey guys, Christine Holly here for Hollywood First Look Features. I'm here in Hollywood at the Egyptian Theater for opening night of the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival. I can't wait to see who shows up, so let's not waste any more time and hit the red carpet. You are director, writer, actor of Goop. Tell us a little bit about the movie. Um, uh, it happens during the uh, first day of the LA riots. Um, it's about uh, two Korean American brothers running uh, their late father's women's shoe store during the uh, you know, first day of the LA riots. Uh, we took it to Sundance this year, it won the Audience Award, and we are stoked. We're stoked to be playing at LA Asian because it's our kind of home turf. And, and, uh, and um, yeah, we just sold to uh, Samuel Goldwyn, and, and uh, Peter Goldwyn will come out tomorrow and, and do a little talk, and we'll show the film. Fifteen years later, Butter Lock Tomorrow is screening tonight. How does it feel? You know, it's funny. Fifteen years passes like a blink of an eye. I'm actually kind of emotional right now, only because 15 years ago, back, before it really hit, it was just a big question mark. We all got together and we were like, oh, this is a great movie, it's a great script, but is anyone even going to see it? And so to be able to see what transpired, you know, Justin's now one of the biggest film directors in the world. You got like John Cho, you have Sung Kang, you got Perry Shen, Jason Tobin. I mean, all these people have like gone on and are doing great things. And so, you know, it's just, it's nice to see people that you love that had nothing and just got together and did something and 15 years later people are doing really well now. So what's your short called and what is it about? So my short film is called Seppuku. Um, it's about a young woman who's a, an athlete, who's a sprinter, who has a career ending injury and has to face her demons. Um, and it's a very surreal film. Uh, it's pretty dark, but there are elements of it that are, I think a lot of people can relate to in terms of identity and in terms of obstacles. You are writer, producer, director, you name it, yes. of a movie called Cowboy and Idiot? Yes, it's the first short that I ever directed, and it got into the festival, which is really exciting. Oh my god, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So what's the movie about? It's about uh, an Indian girl who's in full bridal attire and she collapses in the desert and a cowboy picks her up and takes her home and he's nursing her back to health and then things are not as they seem. I'm not going to give away any spoilers right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so how was working on a short? Was this your first short? Um, it wasn't my first short as an actress, but it was the first short that I've ever written, directed, produced, and starred in. Um, <laughs> but it was really challenging and really exciting, and I recommend all actors to kind of create their own work and go out and just shoot it, because it was a truly huge learning experience. You are writer, director? Yep. And, and producer. And producer, and you are? And producer. Uh, Wexford Plaza. It's, it's a feature length dark comedy about a lonely female security guard who has a misunderstood sexual encounter with um, a makeup salesman. Really? That's pretty interesting. How did you come up with the concept? Oh man, I had um, one of my best friends from high school worked as a security guard at like just those abandoned strip malls in the suburbs and she would tell me the craziest stories. And so this kind of idea brewed for a while, and um, eventually we wrote it into a feature film. Better Luck Tomorrow was shot 15 years ago, and here you are today, and it's being screened at this film festival. How does it feel? I, I feel I feel like we've aged. 15 years is a it's a double digit number. And it's hard to imagine that you're part of kind of this Hollywood story, 15 years, right? That means that we've aged 15 years, but I think we've all aged for the better. And it's, you know, it's great to be able to come back together and celebrate, and, you know, and have a reason to come together. And, you know, it's timely. You must be feeling good because Better Luck Tomorrow is screening for this film festival tonight. Yeah, it's, I, I just can't believe it's been 15 years. Yeah. No, no, it's uh, Time it's been quite a ride. Time flew by. Yeah. And I'm here, like, looking at what you've been working on since: Fast and Furious, Star Trek, Scorpion. 
Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's been, uh, it all started here, you know, with, with Linda and VC. Um, and, you know, it feels like every project that I do, a lot of it can be traced right back to Bear Luck tomorrow. Hey guys, so I hope you guys go and support your fellow Asian American filmmakers and watch their movies. I'm about to go in and watch Better Luck tomorrow. So I'll see you guys next time. This is Christine Holly for Hollywood First Look Features.